Hello, hello, this is Candy Comer, and welcome to episode 43, I think. I'm going to tab out to check real quick, sorry. Uh, yeah, episode 43 of KMB Comer Plays Minecraft. Got that right. Uh, and I am climbing to the top of the bell tower, the Campanile here, to take a look at what I've been working on. I have been doing some uh, stuff on Venice, so yeah, let's take a look at where I've gotten. Um, got a little bit inspired to work on this. Uh, you know... <laughs> Been a little while since I uploaded a... Okay, yeah, that's starting to take shape. So I have the one building that was completely done. That, that We're going way back now. Uh, this facade I had most of the way up, and I continued it, and I think it's looking cool. Can't see a lot from here. We'll get closer look in a minute. And then this building that wraps around the corner. A uh, lot of work on that one. Um, it's a complicated one and this is you know this is tough to get motivated and to get uh, you know inspiration for how how the look is supposed to be I mean it's a lot different than doing a redstone project with redstone huh, I'm just looking in that window little dark spot I thought it might be a mob or something yeah with doing like redstone projects like the stuff I've been working on in the Calgary Tower it uh, you know, there's something I want to accomplish, and I want uh, want it to work a certain way, and then, you know, you figure out how to do it. This is so much more open-ended, and, uh, but I really think it's coming along pretty nice. Um, let's get rid of this scaffolding so we can see just a little bit better, and, um, yeah, why don't I spend this minute here? We'll go over, huh, no room. We'll go over uh, what the plans were for this area. So I had to go back and uh, look it up myself. It's been so long, but um, oh yeah, that's really coming together nicely. So yeah, it's all about coming up with unique looks for each building, and it is uh, it is difficult. This one I'm really liking how it's shaping up. It's got some irregular shapes, parts that jut out, and. Uh, like this part kind of extends out over the sidewalk, the corner here, uh, you know, kind of recesses back a little bit there, and then that corner comes out again. Still working over there, but um, yeah, it's coming up with a unique look for everything, and then <laughs> finishing the facade, that's kind of what I'm, I'm working on. So the front uh, faces of the buildings, then probably work around the back, the roofs need to be done. And uh, then interior work, get them ready for villagers to move in. So <laughs> it's a big job, damn big job. So we have that building done. This one just a facade, this one a facade. That's three buildings. We have uh, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth going in here, facing on to St. Mark's Square here. Uh, and then the plan is... Let me just reacquaint myself here. We're going to be having uh, several more buildings extending along here. So this uh, this building will have to get taken out. We're coming along this way with some more. Um, yeah, I think I was going to have the canal. Yeah, yeah, I was going to continue this walkway around the side of St. Mark's Square here. Have a canal where my temporary nether ward is and then have that coming around under the bridge got to come up with some more bridges there will be um, I think I was gonna bring the water around the side here can't really remember for sure um, <laughs> something to work out and then so that's uh, we're up to about nine buildings now and then I'm having uh, an alley here behind this row of buildings so kind of uh, you know, zigzag outward and whatever, and then one more row of buildings fronting onto this bay here. So they'll probably be built kind of on stilts over the water a little bit. Uh, here we have this building's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight blocks deep, and I want at least that much. So we have this uh, narrow alley, and then we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. 
10 blocks so maybe we'll have the row of buildings come out to about here or maybe a little bit further not too sure but <laughs> it's all stuff that uh, has got to get worked on so yeah the materials I have to get for this project are crazy I have uh, some brick here some brick in my inventory and dump off some of this junk um, sandstone I went out and collected a bunch I've kind of just thrown it in here and um, yeah I think my goal for today oh yeah I'm liking the way this is shaping up it's looking quite nice um, my goal for today I think I want to try to get these three buildings operational and by operational I mean villagers living in them and that will mean uh, building ooh hello one shot that'll mean building some temporary um, maybe fencing around the edge here getting everything lit up I want them to be safe last time I unleashed some villagers on here they quickly died and uh, yeah our guys are still doing well in here uh, we still got seven of them we'll maybe just unleash a couple of them out here and uh, see how they do so I'm gonna get to work on finishing these two buildings and we'll get some some uh, fences up and then uh, yeah we'll be back when I got something to show you guys okay well I'm doing a little bit of land clearing here and the reason for that is I figured why not try to get the villagers out and into the one building that's done as I work on the other ones and geez that building's kinda ugly from the back but uh, I'm okay with that because you know it's the back alley it's not supposed to be as pretty as the front it's realistic what did I just hear huh? oh you <laughs> see ya anyways uh, yeah so what I'm going to do here is I cleared out a little bit of area here I have a few fences yeah somewhere there they are these are ones I took uh, took down from the um, I lost my train of thought from the sheep pen there and so I am just going to fence this out and maybe we can get this all done on camera here so that's all fenced out and I can easily jump over the top of that which is good torch that up um, there should not be any unlit spawnable areas on the side here and if I can jump okay good yeah we have plenty of light all along here so nothing should be spawning on the building um, let's check up here gotta love that jump boost holy wait what was this here we have a spawnable spot right here eh? hmm gonna have to fix that um, I don't know I don't have any oof, glitching into the building there a bit I don't have any torches over on the beside the windows here I wonder if this will look alright um, you know just we're using torches here uh, I think it fits fits the theme pretty well um, but yeah so here at these doors I think maybe we, no you can't put them there maybe yeah we can use some torches here except not on the end I don't like that so yeah we'll get this all lit up um, yeah that law looks good so this backside should be safe uh, we checked all the spawnable spots up there um, gonna have to fence this off like so and I need more fences <laughs> yeah let's um well why don't you come with me while I go and grab some wood from uh, from over here and I'll tell you why I feel like this is a good project for me to do right now um, as you know from watching the series and the building of the Calgary Tower and that sort of thing I live in Calgary and uh, right now the city is experiencing some some flooding which uh, you know the the level of flooding we're having right now is kind of unprecedented for the city it's kind of one of those hundred year flood things it's just a lot of rain and the rivers overflowing their banks and um, 
yeah so a lot of people are having a lot of troubles with that right now and thankfully not me uh my home is not in the way of any of the flooding my parents home is not uh, affected but it's pretty devastating and um pretty whoa hello pretty uh interesting pictures some some bad uh pictures of some some devastation uh the the hockey rink the where the calgary flames play my favorite team um the saddle dome that's the name of the arena because it's shaped like a saddle uh it is kind of submerged uh they said that the the water inside the seating bowl at the saddle dome is up to i've heard conflicting reports but uh like the 10th row of seats or possibly higher maybe the 14th row uh mo most of the arena is underwater i guess is the bottom line um which uh you know that kind of sucks but you know doing venice is kind of uh god that okay <laughs> It's good because, um, you know, they they experience a lot of flooding in Venice, um, a lot of flooding, and uh, I don't know, it just seemed kind of fitting to work on it right now through that rambling story. Um, so yeah, I got some inspiration to work on this project, and let's get some more fences, come on now. You could tell I'm not used to doing this kind of thing on camera that often, um, trying to get better at it, but... I don't know how interested people are in, in watching me craft fences, um, but yeah, all right. So we got some fences, and we can continue fencing this off. So I think maybe we'll just come around like this, because it's all temporary, you know. Just don't want those zombie invasions inside. That's just what happened kind of instantly last time I let any villagers loose. Zombies all over the place. So we got their building kind of quarantined. Shouldn't be any uh, any risk of zombies getting them in there. Now, I have to figure out a way to get a couple of them in there. And um, probably going to have to run some rail or something. Or, well, you never know. Um, they might find their way in there. Uh, let's, let's find out. Um, I got a few doors to replace there. And I have to get two of them out of here somehow um the best way was really the way i did it before um when i was doing my uh doing my iron golem farm using the rails to get them out so maybe we'll work with that idea um yeah i'll get some stuff together and then uh i'll be back and we will get some villagers settled in venice hopefully fingers crossed I'll be right back. All right, uh, I almost got it set up. Um, let's. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? Um, hmm, hmm. <laughs> just figuring out how I want to lay the rails here. Uh, well, let's just try doing it. Um, so yeah, I got this. Ooh, ran out of. Uh, okay, that's fine. There we go. <laughs> Going with the uh, perfect materials for the job here. So, uh, that doesn't do it. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, so I got it pretty much exactly like I had it before when I uh, was populating the Iron Golem farm. So, pretty easy. Just a dispenser in the corner with an empty bucket in it. And uh, when I hit the button on the dispenser or I could move the button to here for a little more convenience it'll pull the water out of that corner it will force the villagers into this corner where I can pick them up so let's take a look at that um, water is no longer in that corner villagers getting shoved in there ready for pickup and then if I of course just hit it again they will go back to the center real quick so that's a really good way of storing villagers and of um, you know giving yourself the ability to get them out um, for anybody who might be wondering the reason I have them in a setup like this is 
so that because um, I'm on a server I don't want them to be glitching into the walls when things load or unload you know servers get restarted or whatever things can work a little funny and uh, <laughs> I don't want to be losing these guys. I had these same seven villagers in here for a very long time. So, um, yeah, that is that. So, we can... Hmm, this is actually a problem. Oh, no, that's alright. We can just do like this. And get... We'll just wait for one to get into the corner there. And then... Okay, perfect. I will just shove this cart over like so and we're off so we got one guy and he's good there um, I just hope he goes inside what are you gonna do you gonna go inside here or are you gonna glitch through the floor well he's having a good time there let's quickly get another one before he decides that he doesn't want to be in the fence and I'll get the fences on my bars Okay, uh, should successfully have two villagers in this building here. Get you out of the cart. How you guys doing? You both enjoying being in the floor? That's good. You're a blacksmith, eh? What kind of trade you got? That is... Uh, I don't even know if it's good. But, uh, yeah, you guys got lots of doors here. Where did you go? Man, why do you guys love being in the floor? Oh well, I got a couple doors to replace. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to continue working and we'll see uh, how these guys do with their breeding. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at that in a few minutes. Well, I was just over here chopping some more trees and get a little more wood here. Needed for doors, doors for days. But uh, I just looked over there and I think... I think we might have a baby. Let's find out. So, uh, let's see. Nothing here. Oh, there you are. Hey, little guy. How's it going? Well, that's good. So we know, uh, we know this is working. I know not every door in, uh, in Venice here is functional. Like, for example, um, this balcony sticks out more than five blocks. We have one, two, three, four, five. It's exactly five blocks. So, you know, like these four doors here, not functional. But I think just about everything else is. So we do have enough to uh, get guys breeding in here. And um, I think that these guys, are, well, no, these guys are definitely included in the village. So they're they're taking up some of the cap but we have enough doors to support more than uh seven villagers at least eight because we got one and let's see where wow servers having a little problem here i think but uh well let's get a screenshot for the uh the thumbnail shall we and that's a good one. Good enough. Uh, yeah, that's a good, good picture. I like it. So um, I haven't really done a whole lot of work. I've been kind of waiting, waiting to see if these guys would breed. I wanted to make sure that. Uh, come on. Ah, whatever. Okay. There. <laughs> make sure that this uh, this village, this this village of Venice was working properly. So now that I know it is, and we got those guys safe and sound over there. I will continue working. I am going to get going on the interior of this building here. This is a building that I really like the look of, but uh, a lot of brick, a lot of brick involved, and it is, you know, pretty tough. Pretty tough to acquire. Not tough, just time consuming. So, uh, took a lot of brick, got a lot of brick going up on the back here, and uh, I was just testing this to see if that would help with the breeding because it took a while for those guys to realize that uh, you know they wanted to create a new baby villager but it um, seems to be working and uh, yeah time for me to get to work on the interior here 
Well, I just realized that uh, I've recorded this episode up to this point without my headphones on, so uh been using speakers. <laughs> there's a good chance there's some feedback in my recording, which doesn't make me too happy, but, um, you know, I, I'm i not going to just throw it away, so uh, if there is some feedback, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, I won't do that again, but, uh, you know, I was lacking a little bit of inspiration for the, ooh, another one, for uh, the Venice build, so I came out here, which is kind of what I do every time I'm lacking inspiration, and I've been farming wither skeleton heads, um, and I wouldn't usually show this, however, I think somebody asked recently in the comments where I get my skulls, and this is the spot. So this is a, uh, another fortress that we tore apart, and I put in these spawning pads everywhere, oh, on these upside down half slabs, uh, wither skeletons can spawn along with a whole bunch of other nasty stuff. And I'm about to split from here because I got the skulls I need. Um, actually, yeah, I got I got 12 more skulls, which is everything I need to finish out um, beaconing up my base. So, um, yeah, I was hoping that we would get a skeleton spawning here. Before I left, but uh, that doesn't seem to be in the cards. We'll take one more look. Mm, nothing. So yeah, you get a lot of blazes, gotta fight them. And it does a real number on your armor. As you can see, I've lost my helm. Boots are close to broken. Chest almost broken, lost my pants. So uh, down to not much armor. And uh, yeah, so I got the skulls let's take a look got 12 skulls and I am ready to head home so uh, meet you back there Well, you can see it there. Six buffs on my screen. I got uh, the last four beacons in place. Got 20 beacons around my base. Giving me a full 200 by 200 of speed 2, haste 2, strength 2, jump boost 2, regeneration, and resistance. Both level 1s. So, it's pretty crazy. Uh, nothing can really touch me. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's good. It's really good. But uh, I got a little bit more done here on Venice. I got this middle building pretty much done. And you can see I've expanded the fence to encompass it as well. I also got it open to the sheep pen, which is why I have some sheep wandering around. But uh, we also have a lot of life uh, in here now. And you might be able to catch... There's one guy there. Uh, you can see them moving around on that floor there uh, there's a guy at least one down there and we have quite a few of them wandering the streets now so why don't we go take a look at that so uh... alright we got one two guys here we got a zombie here that can't get in hey how's it going and we can see is he gonna attack me now? yeah the resistance uh... you know even with just the boots on Zombie doesn't do that much damage. <laughs> and I regen really fast, as you can see. So it's great. Really, really strong. Uh, yeah, so we were looking at villagers. We got uh, a couple guys standing out here. Inside this building, we got a couple more with a couple babies. So that's six. Just take an unofficial sense census here. Uh, let's see, I don't think we have any up here. No, this is it for this building. So we got six hanging around here. Uh, this one we've seen before, so I'll just keep moving here. And uh, we'll check out inside here. So we got one, two, three more. So that's nine. 
I uh, don't know if anybody's hanging out upstairs here. Uh, no. Oh yeah, you guys haven't seen the inside of this building. Let's take a look. So I have the beacon coming up through the middle. Uh, we have a zombie somewhere around here. Where... Where are you? Is he over here? Please be... Oh, where has he gotten to? I don't know where he's breaking down the door. How did you get in here? You damn guys. Was that... I'm very confused. Very confused. How would they have gotten in here? As far as I can tell, there's nowhere for them to spawn in here. Like, not even close. Unless that's a zombie invasion, and I haven't really experienced one before. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue with the tour of the brick building. So... Uh, yeah, so we have the beacons coming up through the middle here. Uh, just got sandstone walls on either side. Cheaper than brick, but we got the brick back. Um, we got access down to the beacons right here. Goes all the way... Ooh. Missed a block here. I don't think I have a stone brick on me. Do I? I do not. I'll have to replace that after. Anyways, yeah, access down to the beacons there in case I ever need it. Staircase up, use some sandstone for that, and we I went with a little bit more irregular staircase look just due to uh, space constraints. So that combined with the beacon coming up gives us some uh, more unusual door patterns on the back, which is good, a little bit random. So yeah, we had the stairs coming up this wall, and then we come up kind of from the middle of the room, got some nice windows here. Uh, back up to the top floor, and... Uh, yeah, I've got some windows here too. And then I was experimenting with using these cauldrons as a combination chimney slash uh, beacon blocking block, I guess. Like, like, well, not blocking, but rather the opposite of blocking. So they're transparent, the beacons can work through them, but they do kind of give me the chimney vibe. So, I mean, they're all right. Uh, I'm not sure if they're the best solution but you know you gotta work with what you have uh, so that's what we're using is a chimney we got a peaked roof on this this uh, building different than the flat roof on that one gotta change it up so let's take a look at this uh, this one from the back and yeah we can just enter pearl over there where I got this <laughs> canopy going um, cut out all the trees but yeah looks pretty good I think Pretty good on the back here. Kind of a little more irregular. Maybe I gotta take out some of these stairs. It might be a little too much, but uh, it's the back alley. It's nothing too special. Oh, and we got an iron golem spawned here. So that is uh, the progress I made there. We have full coverage of the five beacons, got a second building in Venice done. They're very plain inside, very utilitarian, but that is okay. And I'm wondering if this golem is mad at me. Well, he will be because I'm about to kill this child. <laughs> hey, quit warping around. Alright, now we have to kill a golem. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell, he can't get me over the fence, I don't think. Okay, cool, got some iron. They'll keep spawning them, and I'll keep taking them down. And Rom was over here and tried to help me here by <laughs> placing some iron blocks under my fence. Thanks a lot, Rom. It's a big help. And, <laughs> yeah, so I think uh, this episode's just about wrapped up here. But there was one more cool thing I want to show you guys before I finish it off. So stick with me. Um, you know, it's a bit short of an episode, but I spent a lot of time working on it. Nonetheless, but what I'm going to do to finish off is you can see this door over here. This uh, door should count for the village there. Uh, should, should be functional, I think. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Um, and I've done something similar 
over here. So this door should also be functional for the village. And these are kind of the corner doors in this whole build. I think these are going to be like the furthest out anything will be from anything else. So what I want to do is I want to take this into single player. I'm going to download this world to my computer. I'm going to take it into single player with a village visualization mod turned on. And I just want to take a look at the villages I got here. So I want to take a look at this. I want to take a look at the uh, ones in the Iron Golem farm, and it's just for fun. I just wanted to see how they look. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're here in single player, and I have installed Cabo PC's Village Marker mod. Uh, you can find it at Cabo PC on YouTube, just like that. And uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. So um. How this is working is that these spheres are showing the diameter of the villages. So, in my uh, Iron Golem tower here, I have the one up at the top, the middle one, and if we get a little bit closer here, we can look down the hole, one of the holes on the side here, and uh, you can see there's another pink... Uh, orb around the lower one and so that yeah like I said is just marking the um, the boundaries of the villages and I think I can destroy this because uh, you know we're not um, too concerned about it you can see the lines in the middle um, that is uh, yeah, let's see if I can get up there a little bit better view here oh that's not a good throw that's not a good throw. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, let's try that again. I'm destroying everything, but it doesn't matter because this is just a backup single player world. Uh, let's do this instead. I will just climb up the side here and we can get a better look inside. Okay, that is a mess for sure. Got obsidian down there now. Okay, here we go. This is a good view. So, you can see all the doors leading directly into the center here. Perfect. And then you can see that this, uh, th these dotted lines are forming a box. And that is showing exactly where iron golems can spawn. So... The doors uh, have lines leading out of them showing where the center of the village is. The, uh, the dots on the outside mark the diameter of the village and this box inside here uh, shows the Iron Golem spawning area. So that is a pretty cool mod and that shows uh, how my tower works here. And now I'm going to dig out the side and make an even bigger mess. Let's go right out here. That should be fine. <laughs> and we'll climb back up and we'll go look at the uh, the village I'm working on. So let's do that. It's my last ender pearl. I don't want to waste it on the ladder here. So you'll have to bear with me climbing. Um, yeah, so what I wanted to do is determine for sure that the buildings I'm building are forming a village, which, you know, I'm fairly certain they are because the villagers are using it in breeding. Uh, and of course you can see the ball over there already. I want to see uh, just how far I can extend it and I just want to make sure that the um, there's no interference with other villages and there's not. These are plenty far apart. But you can see that this door I placed is definitely connected to the village and the uh, orb is extending out and you can see. Let's try breaking that and see what happens. And that didn't shrink the village at all, surprisingly. You know, I'm not 100% confident on all village mechanics, but uh, I did think that would have an effect. Um, okay, so that door linked back up. Village boundary didn't change. But over here, uh, this door does not appear to be linked up. And I'm hoping that's just because there's no villagers close to it. So, uh... What I'm doing here 
is I'm going to, whoops, I don't want to be in the cart. I want to get a villager into the cart. So we'll get one from the middle here. Come to the corner, please. Keep going. Good. And we'll push this cart into you. Come on now. No. Wrong way. This way. Please. Please enter the cart. Now, thank you. And I'm hoping, if I know what I'm doing here, that by getting this villager over here, that it will link this door up. And it has. Okay, well, there you go. Seems I know what I'm doing after all. So that is a big village. But, um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Looks like the Venice area that I'm planning on working with here is, uh, able to be fully encompassed by a village and I think you know yeah let's grab a few more doors I think yeah I got some doors in here chests still a gigantic mess but I think if like I took take these uh, four extra doors and place them way over by this villager over here that we should be able to visibly shift to the center of the village Maybe not that much because there's so many doors over there, but maybe a little bit. So let's give that a try here. So I'm just going to place these like so. And these should all link up. Okay, good. Yeah, we shifted it. So you can see the center of the village is right in here. And uh, we have the Iron Golem spawning area marked out by the box kind of around the middle of the village so um yeah everything seems to be working out great uh, and uh yeah i guess that's about all for for this episode uh, i hope you guys found this interesting i found this end of the episode really interesting personally i uh you know I, this could be borderline um illegitimate gameplay to some people i don't know to me I'm just doing it because I'm interested in it. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I could have figured this all out by hand, but this mod is really cool <laughs> and shows it for me. And it's a really neat visual, I think, for a video. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.